dreamers, what's up? It's Alyssa and right now you're tuned in to another one of my Tuesday vlogs. I got a new camera that I'm gonna be doing my vlogs with. Very excited with that. This is my first video with the new camera and also I just wanted to get like a little more professional about things and I got myself a little backdrop. Okay, so for this week's video, I decided to do a hair tutorial inspired by Rapunzel. So we got the braids, we got the flowers, I have like my whole station over here. Bobby pins, hair ties, flower crowns, my wheat thins. Okay, so to start off this look, you're gonna want just a hairbrush and you're just gonna wanna brush out your hair. I didn't know this until my friend taught me this. You always wanna start at the bottom and work your way to the top. That's actually better for your hair so you don't damage it. All right, now my hair is all brushed out. So I'll be starting off by teaching you guys how to do a French braid. You're gonna wanna take your hairbrush again and you're gonna just brush your hair all the way back so that your part is not visible. Then then you're going to repart your hair down the middle, just like this, so that you have an even part. Next, you're going to want to take three little sections from the front. So take your fingers and make a small section right here, not too much hair, maybe about like two inches wide. And then you're going to take another one from both sides of that. So now we have two, and now we're going to take one more from over here. And then there's your three strands, and we're going to be crossing on top. So you're going to take one of your strands from either side, and you're going to cross it on top of the middle one, and you're going to switch them. So now this is your middle piece, and those are your two sides. And you're going to do the same with the other side. So you should always make sure that you only have three total strands. You're going to take this one and you're gonna grab some more hair and add it to that and then same thing cross it on top and pull I'll turn around now so you guys can see what I'm doing so you're gonna grab from the side and like add it into there and put it on top I also want to mention to you guys like this braid does not have to be completely neat because Rapunzel's hair isn't like super duper neat either it's very like messy and wild almost like Elsa from Frozen and your pieces could be even. I usually make mine even, but for the sake of doing Rapunzel's hair, I'm just gonna make it like a little bit messier. But make sure it still is tight so you can see your braid. Keep going down. I'll show you guys from the front now. Perks of having a spinny chair. And then once you get to the bottom, stop right there. To end this, we're gonna do a fishtail. You're just gonna wanna take it and kinda like spin it off to make sure that you don't have three individual pieces anymore like you did before. So to do a French braid, take a hair tie first just to make sure that these two are separated and then we'll take it off afterwards. Okay, so when you do tie it off, you're gonna wanna take one that you don't really like care too much about. I just grabbed my old one. I don't really use this kind anymore because I find it easier to cut it off when you're done instead of pulling it because it could mess up the braid. If you find that you don't wanna do that, like you don't wanna cut it, it won't mess up the braid too much. I just prefer cutting it. You're just gonna wanna tie it off. So here's how you fish tail. What you're gonna be doing is separating it into two pieces. Normal braids are three pieces, but for the fish tail you need two because you're gonna add pieces to the next one. So here's what I mean. Take a piece of hair, just a small one. So now you have three sections, but you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it over to this side. And you don't have to keep it separated because now you're adding it into this piece of hair. And you're gonna repeat the same thing, but for the other side. So you grab a piece. Try not to grab the same piece you just put over here because that will kind of defeat the purpose. And you're gonna cross it over and put it to that side. And you just keep doing it all the way down. When you start to realize that maybe one side has a little too much more hair than the other you might want to grab bigger chunks so you can add it to the other side so that they become even and you keep going all the way down also make sure when you're doing the french braid as a little tip you want to make sure that your braid is always facing in front of you and that it doesn't drift to the side because once you take it out like it'll get comfortable with spinning to the side and it won't stay straight just a little tip sometimes i actually feel like rapunzel because my hair is very long and very thin thick so I have a lot of hair to work with right now I'm in hairspray and they have to do my hair I play Penny Pingleton they have to take my hair and put it in pigtails and curl every single strand and it takes them like 20 minutes to a half hour to do it all right I only have this much left I'll show you guys from a new angle now when I go on this side I take my two fingers over here and I grab them and I put them in between these then I like let go and I grab it and I pull it. Then I grab this side with these two fingers and I grab it and I pull it over with my pinky and you keep on braiding. Okay, so once you start to get to the very end, you can just do a normal braid where you just cross them in front. Much easier to finish it off that way. And then you can grab any hair tie you want and tie it off. So I just grabbed a small like blue 
hair tie. Tie off the end. Like I said before, we're gonna cut this little bad boy off. Make sure there's adult supervision. Like my mom actually was just in my room right now. So like make sure you have adult supervision when using scissors. And also make sure you know where you're cutting so you don't cut your hair. Just snip it off and there we go. Now you can get a little bit more like fancier and pull on some strands. I usually like to pull on the top and make the bottom smaller so it gradually gets smaller as it goes down. Now we will do a final spin. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I really say final spin? We are not done yet. That is not Rapunzel's final look. As you all know, Rapunzel's very bubbly and energetic and loving. When she gets to the outside world, one of the big things that she loves is flowers. So here's all my flowery crowns and stuff like that. So we can just put that on like that. Maybe put these like around the hair. And then we can even add in some other colors. Like I have orange right here at like the bottom maybe. Let's pull it up a little bit. Now I think we're finally ready for the final spin. So here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Voila. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and make sure let me know your thoughts and what also you think I should do for my next Tuesday vlog. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.